expectation he who serves a devotion he who serves because it is duty ya kartavya hai when we pray to hanuman ji it reminds us of all of these things you and i as human beings serve without expectation serve because it's our duty and serve of course with devotion to god as we pray
dedicated to Hanumanji and we invite everyone to come and make your offerings to Hanumanji this morning. If you have come, brought prasad for Hanumanji. Oh, 
Its roots and our actions will support those. Mansa karma vacha. So this morning, we invite everyone to sit upright, focus our minds as we will worship the divine in the form of the lingam, Mahadev Bhagwan. Om, Om Namah Shivaya. Bolo. Om Namah Shivaya 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 With our minds focused, we invite that peace and tranquility into our lives. It is not that Bhagwan is not there; the Lord is always within us. But from time to time, through our journey through life, we create situations in our minds that overshadows the presence of God. We create anger. We create animosity, greed, and false pride. which brings with it its level of stress and distress all of these layers overshadow the divine light that exists within us our daily worship helps us to redeem ourselves to remove and to eliminate these negative tendencies in our minds thus revealing the god that exists and every day we go through the process of self realization realizing that we are divine for we are chidananda roopa shivoham shivoham as you pray this morning let us bear our thoughts in mind om vande devo ma patim surgurum vande jagat karanam vande pandava bhushanam trigadaram vande pashunam bhaje vande surya shashanga mahinayanam vande वंदे भक्त जनाश्रय चवरम 
वंदे शिव शंकर नम शिवाय नम शिवाय नम शिवाय हर 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 महादेव हर 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 महादेव लोग बोलो हर हर ओम श्री महादेव भगवान ध्यायामी आवायामी स्थापयामी पूजयामी वी कंटिन्यू टू प्रेट ओम रम्यम सुशोभनम दिव्यम सर्वशोक शुभम आसनम चा मया दत्तम परमेश्वर ओम श्री महादेव भगवान नवरत्न कंद सिंहासनम समर्पयामी ओम उष्णोदक निर्मल चा सर्वसौगंड संयुत पाद प्रक्षाताय तम ते पति ग्रेयतामुदूत शर्करा पुष्पकारक मलापहारक दिव्य स्ना पति ग्रेयता शर्करा स्ना सर्पया मधुस्ना सर्पया गृतस्ना सर्पया कदलीफलस्ना समर्पयामी हर 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 महादेव हर 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 महादेव बोलो हर 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 महादेव हर 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 महादेव शुद्ध जल स्ना समर्पयामी हर 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 महादेव हर 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 महादेव हर 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 महादेव हर हर ओम नरियल चल स्ना समर्पयामी हर 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 महादेव हर पयोदरी चैवा मधुषा शर्करा पंचात मया नि स्ना पदि ग्रेयता हर 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 महादेव हर हर गंगा सरस्वती रेवा पयोशनी निर्मदा जले स्नापिते सी मया देव अत शांति कुरुष मे हर 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 महादेव हर 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 महादेव बोलो हर 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 प्रेम सुलो मापति महादेव की Let me take this opportunity to invite everyone to participate in Arjuna and Abhishek. Arjuna is when we shower petals of flowers at the feet of the divine, and Abhishek is when we bathe the divine Lord. Let our seniors and those who are ill come first, and others to follow.
श्याम कहो सीता राम कहो राधे श्याम कहो सीता राम कहो राधे श्याम कहो सीता राम कहो राधे श्याम
दया करो शिव गंगा
शिव नाम से है जगत में उजाला हर भक्तों के है मन में शिवा संभु बाबा मेरे भोलेना तीनों लोक में तू ही तू
औषधम चेब भगवान की सदगुरु महाराज की जय लेट बी इन बाइड एवरीवन तो प्लीज सेट अपराइट वेयर एवर वी आर वेयर वी आर सीटेड ऑन द चेयर्स और ऑन द ग्राउंड वी आर अबाउट टू पार्टिसिपेट इन प्राणायाम एंड मेडिटेशन फॉर दोस ऑफ अस हु आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम मेरी बात सुनो प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली टू द इंस्ट्रक्शंस Thumb and four fingers must be touching like this. Everyone must do this. Back of the palms must rest on the knees. <clears throat> Relax your bodies. Try to put a smile on our faces. We shall breathe in and out together six times. Slowly we shall breathe in, and slowly we shall breathe out. in the process of breathing out which i chant om all together in <laughs> om together narish chant panch akshar mantra ye panch shabd hai na ma shi wa ya always beginning with o o Lift our voices. Om Namah. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om. Together, let us chant the Trayambakam mantra three times. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukamiva Vandanat Mrityor Moksha Mamrita Atteyo Trayambakam Yajamahe. सुगंधिम पुष्टि वरदन पूर्वाकमिव वंदना मृत्योर्मोक्ष मृता आते 
त्र्यंबकम यजामहे सुगंधिम पुष्टि वर्धनम ऊर्वारुकमिव वंदनात मृत्योर मोक्षे मामृता आतेओ नमः शिवाय नमः शिवाय नमः शिवाय for the next few minutes we invite everyone to participate in meditation meditation is where we connect to the divine within that divinity that spirit of the divine that exists within us one way of doing this is to take an image of the divine lord whatever form we perceive bhagwan to be concentrate upon that image and chant the name of the form if we cannot identify with a particular form i suggest you look at ganeshi the murti in front of the altar in front of ganeshi there is a small jyot a light take a picture of that light in your mind concentrate upon that light and chant om namah shivaya as we listen we meditate in silent listening to the sounds of the sitar we continue to our obeisances to the divine lord shiva as we chant the mantra is called shiva manas stotra devotion to bhagwan shiva from the mind ratne kalpi Shoot. 
Let me take a moment to mention to those people who might be new to Ram Mandir this morning that the words of our mantras are projected on the screens in English and in Sanskrit or Hindi. It is intended for everyone to attempt to follow along. I assure you that if you attempt to follow along, your minds will drift away from all of your mortal challenges and will be focused upon the divinity. That is, for a few minutes, you will be interacting with the divine. So I encourage everyone to try to chant. So what I know In our prayers, we are saying that, O oh Lord, we invite you to be in our minds. And there we mentally have prepared for you the most beautiful seat. We shall worship your body with the, all the waters of the holy rivers of the Himalayas. We shall offer you champak flower, velpat leaf, dup, deep, naiveda, arati. In all our offerings, Bhagwan, there is only one desire. And the desire is for you to forgive us for all of our past impieties. Chatram Chamara Yoga Vyajanakam Chadarishakam Yirmalam Vila Bhira Pritanga Kahala Kala Itam Chanivyam Kata Sankalpena samalpitam tava vivo Bhuja vihana prabhu Atma atma irijamati sahachara Prana shariram griham Sama Rishiti Sanchara Pradayo Pradakshana Vidhi Sotrani Sarva Niro Yad Yad Karma Karo Nitat Dadakilam Atmatvam Girijamati Sahachara Prana Shariram Griham Pujate Vishayop Bhogarachana Nidra Samadhisthiti Hey Bhagavan This Atma that exists within me is a spark of your divinity All of my physical and mental attributes are a gift from you, O Lord I appeal to you to give me the privilege to serve you through using all of these things that, O oh Lord, even in my deep sleep at night, it is meditation upon you. And then ultimately I ask, O oh Bhagavan, forgive me for all of my past impieties. Om Karacharan Kritam Vakayajam Mahadeva Sambhu 
नम शिवाय नम शिवाय नम शिवाय धनी स Oh 
Listen to the sound of his basri. Hey, I'm going 
चंद भगवान की जय लास्ट वीक आवर डिस्कशन वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम वन श्लोक फ्रॉम द श्रीमद भगवद गीता चैप्टर ट्वेल्व I would like to repeat that shloka and then continue with our discussion of the subject of last week. Oh, yashmanu dvijite loko, lokanu dvijite chaya. हर्ष मर्ष भयो ले गए मुक्त हो यह सच मे प्रिय श्री कृष्णवासुदेवाय भगवान कृष्ण श्री स्व अर्जुन Dadu Arjuna that individual who have committed themselves to becoming a bhakta or a devotee of the divine lord they strive to develop certain tendencies in their lives and amongst those approaches to life interaction with other human beings they practice this philosophy yashmanu udvijite loko उद्विजते ये मतलब है एजिटेट दैट इंडिविजुअल हु डज नॉट एजिटेट द वर्ल्ड लोको ना उद्विजते चया बट हु डज नॉट अलाउ द वर्ल्ड टू एजिटेट देम इट इज दे आर एग्जिस्टिंग इन अ स्टेट ऑफ ब्लिस दैट इज बियॉन्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर दे डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब एनी वन एंड नो वन कैन डिस्टर्ब देम then they are a state of pure bliss at all times we want to continue to talk about this today and to ask the question that if this is so why is it so difficult to do if the benefit is so bountiful total bliss and all we have to do is not let the world disturb us then why can we not do that we cannot do this because as human beings we are prone to being affected by emotions a word said we hear it it triggers our emotions we have a fragrance it triggers our emotion we see something it triggers our emotion we have a touch a sensation it triggers our emotion from what we see what we hear what we smell what we taste what we touch It's all driven by emotions, and we are an emotional being. And because we are emotional beings, it is very difficult for us to not be bothered by what is happening around us. I said it's difficult, but then if it is our emotions that cause us to do this, then we need to manage our emotions. So how do we manage our emotions? Do we take our emotions out and talk to them and says listen children you know when you have a child is not following instructions you sit them down and you talk to them so do we take our emotions out and says look i want to talk to you i want you to behave what would you tell what would we tell our emotions if we had a chance to talk to our emotions what would we tell our emotions i will ask questions today okay so imagine that you have your emotions and your emotions is really troublesome what guidance will you give to your emotions this morning anyone yes keep calm 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 down you will tell your emotions hey calm down cool down be cool man we'll tell our emotions this so what else will we tell our emotions stay focused stay focused what else will we tell our emotions Think about it carefully before you do anything. Mm-hmm. What will we tell our emotions? 
Anybody else? Yes. Think positive. Give the young man a big hand, please. So we will tell our emotions to be cool, to be calm, to think positive, to stay focused. Right? What else will we tell our emotions? Yes. LTDR. Listen, think, decide, then respond. Give Chai a big hand, please. Well, you see, many of us, our emotions is in the HR mode. That is, we hear and we respond. There's no thinking or decision making. So when we tell our emotions, hey, be cool. Like we're telling a child who's out of control, be cool. Stay focused. Manage yourself. Let's talk to ourselves now. Because our emotions belong to who? So we are telling ourselves now, be cool, be focused, think carefully before you act. Now that's good example, good lessons for the emotions. Is the emotions listening? You know, you're talking to the child and say, yeah, 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 sure, 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 right? Are we listening to ourselves? Are we taking the time to listen and say, you know, I am my enemy, my emotions are causing me, I get upset, I worry, I hate, I dislike, I am grumpy, grumpy, that's a good word, I am grumpy, nobody can talk to me, I have mood swings, talk to me when I have my coffee, after I've had my coffee, talk to me when I have lunch, talk to me when I'm feeling good. We have times when we can be talked to. Children tell their parents when they come home from school, mom don't talk to me now, please, no, not now. They have lots of problems. Their stocks failed. So they have to deal with it. There must never be a time in our lives when we cannot interact with another human being because our emotions are so messed up. And it's our emotions that's messed up. And we're telling the other people, don't disturb me, please. Nothing can disturb you. You're already messed up. But if you're calm, okay, all right. Let's talk. That being cool. Being cool or you're going to be a fool. Isn't that what, what they say? The young people. Be cool, man, or you'll be a fool, right? Well, you can be foolish by not being cool. But the point is here. This emotion thing we have to manage. Sankar Swami Tulsidas in Ram Charit Manas tells us that, you know, in the physical way of thinking, we have to ask ourselves a question. What is it that causes me to become stressed out. If I ask a wife, she'll say, Pandaji, my husband, oh, he never pays attention to me. He thinks he's boss and he's God and he does what he wants. And I'm stressed out. If you ask the husband, oh, she always wants some new sari all the time and I never can please her. If you have the children, what's wrong? My parents, they don't understand us, Pandaji. They don't know nothing. They're in the old time days. Right? If you ask the parents, our children, I don't know what's wrong with them, we give them everything and still they're not happy. Sounds like a familiar, you know, situation. This disease has been around since the beginning of time. The same illnesses have been with every family. But let me ask this question. In every family today, if we were to ask ourselves, what is the greatest challenge that we have in our family? Is it economics, meaning we can't pay our bills? Is it that education we don't have enough? Is it health? Is it... So we have economics, money, physical illnesses, health, education. What else could cause us problems in our lives that the families are harmonious? Anybody? Oh, we don't have problems in our families? What do you think the other people who are not here this morning have problems about? Anybody knows? Why, what causes people to have disharmony in their homes? Health? Yeah. Must learn to understand the people. Give Pitaji a big hand. Must have understanding. Wow. So you mean everybody in the house doesn't speak Punjabi, right? They don't understand each other. Or they don't speak English. So it's not a language problem. The understanding or misunderstanding does not come because we do not speak the same language. 
because we are not thinking the same thoughts. Everybody wants their own thing, and like you're seated at a table, and Mata Ji has prepared, you know, sabji, chawal, and roti, and the child is saying KFC, and the father is saying mm -hmm, dosa, and the little baby is saying dude, dude. My mother says this is food. So everybody have their own agenda, what they want in life, and nobody is trying to understand the other person. So in these series of misunderstandings, we have what is called the communication. Say that again, the communication. Let's take the gap and throw it away. Boop, the gap is gone. The communication gap means that we are not trying to understand each other. Everybody is sitting on their own side and says, you understand me, that's your problem. The children says to the mother and father, you have to understand me, mom. The husband says to the wife, you have to understand me. The, the daughter-in-law says to the mother-in-law, you have to understand me. That's impossible. The mother-in-law says to the daughter-in-law, you have to listen to me. So everybody wants what they want. But one writer says that we must seek first to understand, then to be understood. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Imagine if everyone in a house was trying to understand the other person, then there'll be no misunderstanding, regardless of what language you speak. Son Goswami Tulsidas Kaite, he tells us in the Ram Charit Manas and this Chopai that if we really want to understand each other, then we will avoid these things. If we really want to try to understand each other and if we take this pathway of understanding, then there will be no enmity, no anger. It's when we don't understand or we don't try to understand that's when we get angry. Someone is talking to us, I don't want to talk to you. I'm talking to them, they will not listen to me. We are both angry. Because no one is trying to understand the other person. He says, that person who is trying to understand will pick no quarrel with no one. Because quarrel doesn't gain any understanding. If anything, quarrels lead to more misunderstanding. He says, the person in a good relationship doesn't look for something from a relationship. Someone says, Pandiji, should a wife look for something from her husband? What should a wife want from her husband? 
Well, the money, of course. What should a wife want from a husband and a husband want from a wife? This is a very touchy subject, by the way, since we have lots of husbands and wives here today. I know after this Prashmachan, they will go home and talk to each other. And you know what Pandit said you should want? Well, the bottom line is, husband must not want anything from the wife and wife must not want anything from the husband. But the husband must want to give everything and the wife must want to give everything. They must want to give to each other, not want from each other. Now that is, let me reiterate. The only want that husband and wife must have is wanting to give their love, their affection, their care, their compassion and their understanding to each other. Not wanting care, compassion and understanding from the other person. The subject is the same, it's the action we're talking about. It's called the pull and push system. Some of us want to pull, I want from you. I'm saying we should adopt the push system, let me give to you. And let me give everything that I have, my love, my affection and understanding. If two people in a relationship was giving everything to each other, there'd be no wanting. If parents did that for children and children did that for parents, and if we did that for our elders, just imagine what beauty there will be in family, what harmony would there be there, when everybody is giving. And in this giving, there is great fulfillment. You know, in giving there is great fulfillment. Giving up what we have is great fulfillment. You know, when a child gives up a toy, mother says, you can't play with this toy anymore. There's no great fulfillment. The child cries for days. But when you and I give up a certain attitude, that we will not be angry anymore. Who gains? That we will not be upset easily anymore. Who gains? That we will not bear any harsh feelings against anyone. Who gains? That we will try to understand more. Who gains? It's always the person who's trying to do this who gains, not the other person. Prem Susita Bhadi Ramachandra Bhagavan Ki Our message today is one that's very simple. That live in this world ever loving and caring to each other. And when we do this, and we do it with devotion, Bhagavan Ram says, Mam gun gram naam rata Mam taam damo O Rama Mam taam damo Taam tar suk to hi jano Paranand sando O Rama Paranand sando Ya var Rama मेरे गुना सह मुख और मेरे नाम में लीन हो एवं ममता मद और मोह से सर्वता परे है उसका सुख तो वही जानता है इस इस दैट इंडिविजुअल हु लिव्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड टेकिंग एवरी एफर्ट टू अवॉइड एनी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट नेवर हार्ड ब्रिंग एनी डिसलाइक never harboring any animosity, always trying to understand the other person, always seeking to listen intentively, always wanting to help willingly. He says, they exist in a world that is truly unique. That they are devoted to God's perfection. Bhagavan Ram tells us, we must be devoted to His perfection in His name. Who is the Lord's perfection? Or what is the Lord's perfection? Ham sab Bhagwan ko santan hai. We are God's children. And He says, Be devoted to my perfection. Serve humanity in my name. And in so doing, that you should enjoy such bliss, 
such peace and tranquility in your mind that there will be a smile on your face at all times. Some of you might remember that you are walking into the mandir and I am putting tilak on your forehead and I will say to you, Muskura nahi, you are so serious. You are coming to Bhagawan and you are very tense. Imagine if someone is coming to you and they look very serious and tense, what would you do? Exit left. When you are coming to mandir, let all of your other things be left at home. Don't leave your spouse at home, bring them along with you, but imagine that they are not there with you. Don't leave your children at home, bring them along with you, but imagine they are not there with you. Don't bring your burdens also, leave them at home. Come to Bhagawan without burdens. And then we will find that, we will find that relief in our minds. I want to conclude today with two bhajans. One of them is a dedication to a young lady in New York, Ashti, who listens to our program every Sunday and is celebrating her 21st birthday. She has requested a Shiv Bhajan. We will do that for her. But first, the Bhajan that I want to do is one that talks about Seva, family Seva. But you know, every family here today has a mother and father either in India or in another part of the world or here. And sometimes we don't do justice to our parents. They are left alone, they are left unattended, they are just babysitters. And when they finish their babysitting duty, we have no work for them, so we just leave them at home and says, bye, and then we are very busy. I am not talking about anybody here, by the way. Who are in this mandir, do not do this. It's the people who didn't come to the mandir today I am talking about. So we have a responsibility to our seniors. And there is only one verse of a bhajan that I want to sing, but it starts off like this. Tvami vamata shapita Tvami vavandu shastika Tvami vavidya
मात पिता की सेवा स्नान कियो न कियो दिन के हृदय श्री राम से और गुनाम कियो न कियो दिन के हृदय श्री राम और गुना घर में बैता नमन करे सम बसते ना होम जब प्रे कोई हरि मंदिर में भजन करे सम बस कम तो मंदिर इज लाइक दिस एंड वी प्रे एंड सिंग टू गॉड कोई गंगा यमुना स्नान करे सम बस गो टू द होली लैंड भारत देश एंड वी मर्स आवर सेल्फ्स इन द होली गांजीज Some of us go to Kashi and all the other holy places, and we perform tirth. But the poet Kavita says, "Jinam mata pitakis." He says, "If we are doing all of these things, we are coming to mandir, we are praying at home, we are going to the Ganges, and we are going to Kashi and Vinaras and all these holy places. But yet we are not taking care of our parents. Then we are doing nothing." He says. The essence of service is truly when we serve those whom we owe so much to, Bhagwan and His representatives. Who are God's representatives? Come. Our parents. Are you sure? Maybe that's why the bhajan starts off, "Tumi mata chapita tumi va," and so under God. you're my mother you're my father so in reality if as a society we do not give preference and focus to looking after the elders whether they are what is our parents जाओ हरे राम 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 राम
सीता राम 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 सीता राम 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 सीता राम 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 हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 हलिया हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 सीता राम राम बोलो सीता राम 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 सीता राम 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 हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 हरे राम 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 सीता राम 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 प्रेम सो सीता पति राम चंद्र भगवान की Sometime tears are good for clearing the eye, washing away the eyes, and making it take out all the dust from the eyes. But this morning our message was very simple. It is one whereby the realities are that there are many families today who have great disharmony in their lives because parents and children are not getting along. And I'm not going to use the mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. statement because we all know about that one but there's disharmony amongst the young generation and the old generation there's disharmony around the third generation those who have come here as immigrants and then who brought their parents and then the children that are born here the communication gap continues to widen because we are missing out on some very key factors in human relationship and number one is to listen Number 2 is to listen and number 3 is to listen by listening we understand we must try to understand each other rather than to tell everybody you need to understand me and many of us have come to say is make a statement this is the way i am like it or leave it and what is happening lots of people are leaving our community are suffering from lots of separation And not only divorce between the husband and wife that's one kind of separation separation where parents don't want to stay with children when children wife is telling husband or husband is telling wife i'm not going to stay with you if your parents are here when grandchildren are saying mom and dad i don't know what's going on with you guys why can't i see nana nani and my aaja naji these challenges exist it is part of the human culture but like any other thing there is a medication there is a therapy the therapy of understanding or seeking to understand each other our message i ask you to take it to you today share it to those families who might be having this problem of course no one here is having this problem I have just been informed that you all have the pleasure of my discussions for another 10 minutes today. Because we want to make sure that the bhojan is warm and nice and hot because it's a cold day. So in the Dasoi ka ghar they are working on keeping everything warm so they have asked me to continue to talk to you for 10 minutes. So we will be concluding my message that is very simple. Let's share this message as you go outside. to those families who may have this problem share it to your friends but most important share it with ourselves i earlier said talk to your emotions sit down one day by yourself and imagine you're taking your emotions out and put it in front of you and said sit down here i want to talk to you and the emotion is saying why do you want to talk to me everything is fine and you were said no 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 everything is not fine you get angry too often No I don't get angry. Yes you do. Listen. 
You allow what other people do upset you. No, I don't. Nobody upsets me. Yes, you do. You're talking to your emotions, you know. Don't let anybody see you do this because they think you're crazy. But you see, we need to do this once in a while. We need to talk to ourselves and tell ourselves. And maybe one good message to take is what Rabindranath Tagore said. That everyone in the morning when we wake up, especially the mature individuals, we must take our chapal, our slippers, and we must hit our faces, both sides, very hard, very sting us, to remind us, by the way, you're a human being. Be human. As such, do not be a, an emotional, strong up human being. But you're all about emotions. One day you're crying, the next day you're upset, you're disappointed. You're never ever happy. And if you're crying, let it be tears of joy or tears of accomplishments or tears of devotion, but not tears of pain. No, God, nobody loves me. If you want to be a friend, if you want to have friends, you have to start out by being a friend. And to Ashti in New York, this budget is for you. It's a simple doom. Bhagwan Shiva Kadu. Everyone, clap your hands. Sabilo Talia. Bolo Bolo Sabmil Bolo Om Namah Shivaya.
continue your bhajans on the Lord Shiva this morning. Shiva Om, Shiva Om. स्वागत है लेट मी वेलकम ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू कौन पहली बार आए है हु इज अमंगस हु इज कम टू राम मंदिर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम टुडे पुट योर हैंड्स अप प्लीज 1 2 3 4 5 6 हु इज कमिंग आफ्टर बीइंग अ लॉन्ग कमिंग फॉर अ संडे मॉर्निंग फर्स्ट टाइम पुट योर हैंड्स अप प्लीज लेट्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ दीस पीपल प्लीज वी वेलकम यू टू श्री राम मंदिर एंड फॉर व्हाट एवर रीजन यू हैव कम दिस मॉर्निंग वी होप दैट यू आर हैप्पी we want to invite you to come as often as you can mandir is open 7 days a week 15 hours a day and there is always a pandit here to attend to you please do come but most important bring your children especially the ones who are 15 and over who are very busy the ones you have to make an appointment to meet you know who i'm talking about right they are so busy with facebook and you know and these type of things they burn up all the calories at night working hard on facebook trying to stay with whatsapp up to date and so on bring them to mandir tell them that there's a crazy pandit here and they can listen to him maybe they will come and they will sit and listen and hopefully the family that prays together bolo the family that prays together so we will get them out once in a while bring them and when you come let's have bhojan together with the whole family we want to thank our family that sponsored today my technology people here and where is this information all right there we go so this pt bhojan is sponsored by goel and family give them a big hand please <laughs> well i hope we don't get charged for bad advertisement <laughs> because if this is the bhojan today i am eating for sure <laughs> you'll be charged for false advertisement remember this okay people you set an expectation people will want to see this tali there okay it may not look this way but it's the same thing <laughs> so 
We want to thank Goel family for sponsoring today. And we want to invite anyone. One or two or three families can sponsor Pretty Bojan any Sunday. It doesn't have to be one person. And bring your entire parivari. Invite your family and friends to come and sit with you in satsang. You know, when you have a party, you invite everybody. When you go to the park, you invite everybody. Invite them to come to Mandir with you. Nothing's wrong with that. Even the ones who don't like to come to Mandir, invite them also. Maybe they will see one side of your life that they don't know exists. They see you socializing. Tell them there's another aspect of your social life. Devotion to God as a family. So we thank you very much. Where is Vihanji? There he is. Give him a big hand. Now, he will not remember this, but pictures will be taken, lots of it, and the date must be there, so that as he grows older, when you are one year old, by the way, tell him this when he's 15, when he said, I don't want to go to Mandir, right? when you were one year old, you were in Mandir, from then, and you were, every year you're going to Mandir, so every year, next year, we're waiting to celebrate his birthday, Bahinji, before you leave today, make sure the office has his birth date, because we are starting a new program now. Where all new births, baby, that come to Monday, we want to record their date of birth and the parents' information. And every year, I want to personally send them a birthday wish to remind them that they started out in Mandir. And when they get a birthday wish from us, they will come to Mandir. So please leave this information. And all of you, the seniors who are here, make sure we have your information. And don't be afraid to give anybody the date you were married. We are not going to sell this information to anybody. Some of the seniors are afraid to tell you when they were married. Maybe they will look too old. We want the date you were married. We want your birthday. Because we want to celebrate this with you. Our senior program that we are starting, we are hoping to buy a bus. We are tired of paying for this bus. For rental, it's costing us $18,000 a year. So we thought after three years, we'll buy the bus. So if anyone knows about bus and who's a bus driver, we're looking for one. We will be buying a bus. The bus will be used specifically to pick up seniors from their home and bring them to Mandir for Mandir activities. Not only on Sundays, but during the week for different programs. We have an extensive program for seniors that we are launching this year. And at the same time, we will have lots of programs for our youths also. So please help us to make this pro these programs come to reality. Anyone who wants to work with us in our seniors program, please volunteer. Come and let us know in the front office. We'll be wishing happy birthday. Today, I think we can sing happy birthday to our baby now. बार बार दिन ये आए बार बार दिन ये Congratulations must be for the parents. And if the grandparents are here of the family, who thought that this would be a good way to celebrate their birthday? Was it the wife's idea or the, or the husband's idea? <laughs> Give Pitaji a big hand, please. You know, most people in this North American country, when the baby is born, they give cigars. They give cancer. They give cigars to everybody so they can get cancer right away. Instead of coming to give Bhagwan ka Kripa, Bhagwan ka darshan, you give cigars. Please don't give cigars when your child is born, please. It's an insult to your child and to your culture. Celebrate with giving thanks to God. And we're so proud of you. Whether it's your father's idea, I hope you remember next year. You won't have to get father to tell you. And I'm sure my dear sister will follow the same example. Or maybe baby will remind you, we have to go to Mandir, it's my birthday. Right? Well, we'll remind you because I'll send you a card one week before to tell you baby's birthday is coming up and you have to come to Mandir. Those of you who brought prashad, before I announce this, while we are doing offering a prashad, 
those of you who are not familiar with the traditions of Ram Mandir, during Mandir there is no talking. It is not a time for socializing. It is a time for Man Shanti. Man Santosh hai. Bhagwan ka aradhana, Bhagwan ka puja, Man aur tan arpan kare. Shanti. Sit quietly and focus your mind. Those who brought prasad, please come forward. Only those who brought prasad, come to offer your prasad. Everyone else, please be seated. Man Shanti hai. Please remember to donate food to our food bank. Every year we give tons of food to the food bank. This year we want to go to four tons of food. The poverty line in Toronto, in Ontario, is the highest over the last 10 years. That there are more families now that are poor than were before. Every one of us can help. And Santa Claus is coming to town. Today is Santa Claus parade, right? And everybody is down Young Street, so Santa Claus will be coming to Ram Mandir also on December 13th. Children from the age of 7, from 1 to 7. If you have a child from the age of 1 to 7, register the child, Santa Claus will come on December 13th. A wonderful event and everybody will get a gift from Santa Claus. Children from 1 to 7 only.
Once again, let me take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you here. Remind you that we are in the winter season. As you will see, there are wonderful snowflakes. I thought, how many of you have ever stopped to take a snowflake in your hand and look at it? Of course, before it melts. Try doing that one day, and you will discover a beauty in that snowflake that you never ex knew existed. It is said scientifically that every snowflake is different. There's no two of the same kind. So it is, there are no two human beings of the same kind. We're all like snowflakes. We are pure when we come from heaven. We come with such beauty in the world, but when we land on the surface, that's when we start getting messy. So we need to maintain our purity, like the snowflake does every day. So as we walk, let us enjoy the beauty of nature that God has granted us, and remember, we are part of that beauty also. And we maintain the beauty by the way we live with each other. We want to invite everyone to participate in Aarti. For those people who are 60 years and over, please stand first. All those who are 60 years and over, even if you're young looking, you stand. Let them come first for Aarti, and then everyone else to follow. Let the seniors come first, please, okay? Parabrahma Parabrahma 
Chest like this, and to bow our heads gently and to close our eyes as we offer prayers. Hey Prabhu, Aapi, Mata, Pita, Bhai, Bandhu, Pritam, Parivar, Sarvasya. Hey Prabhu, Aapi, Pooja, Aapi, Sharanagat, Aapi, Kripalu, Dayalu. Oh Lord, you are mother, father, brother, sister, and friend, and everything to us. We appeal to you this day to make us good children. That we should respect and honor our mother and fathers. We should serve them in your name. See them as a divine and earthly form. As we pray today, we appeal to you, Bhagwan, to forgive us for whatever errors we have made in our lives here today and prior to today, knowingly or otherwise. And we appeal to you to grant us your constant guidance, your constant protection and sustenance as we continue to live in your world. Oh,
can please bow our heads touch in the ground om guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmay sri guru ve nama asuto ma sadgamaya tamaso ma jyotir gamaya mrityor ma amritam gamaya mrityor ma amritam gamaya Om Shanti, 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 Hari Om. Prem Subhulo Sita Padhi Rama Chandra Bhagavan Ki. Satcha Sanatan Dharma Ki. Sab koi Jai 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 Sri Ram, Jai Mat. Sabhi log, Aasan Di Jai, Shanti. Sit down quietly please. There will be Aarti, Panchamritam Prashad, and then everyone is invited for Bhojan. Seniors, those people who are 60 years and over, when you go to the banquet hall, there are tables reserved for seniors. That is, you will sit down, you do not have to line up. Seniors can go and sit at a table reserved for seniors and bhojan will be brought to you. Rukmini ji, please make sure that's happening today. The seniors will go and their bhojan will be brought to them at a table. So there are tables marked, it says se reserved for seniors. Each table has 10 people. I think there's about six tables reserved for seniors. So at least 60 people can sit right away and their food will be brought to them. So remember that. Only the seniors, the rest of the family, please line up and go. All of the other young people lined up. Let the seniors sit alone and be served by our volunteers, please. Thank you. <laughs> 